Hi guys and ladies, you know, I can make crispy fried fish in a deep fryer, but that means using a ton of oil and making a mess. And I don't have an air fryer yet. So I wonder if I can make crispy fried fish in the oven. So I picked up all I need for this recipe. Uh, uh, except one thing, the fish. <laughs> Let's go fishing. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. so nervous. Let's get our fish on. Ah, help! All right, just the kind we need to call. Very small bass have to come out. That's what the scientists say. There's too many of this size and we need this for food. Too little, too little to even feel. coming out and going in the oven. Let me show you what I'm using today. This is called the Z-Man Craw Dads. Z-Man doesn't make it anymore. It's not listed in their online store, but you can still find it in some other tackle shops online. That's my last one. They provide food, you know what I mean? We need to call them anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'll keep it. They like the edges of those weeds. This is too embarrassing. Look away. Look, a bird. <laughs> it's, a, it's the best one today. You know, I was talking to myself, reeling very fast, very fast. I was finished with the cast, and boom, this guy comes up and clobbers it. Mm. One more for the baking sheet. but I've got too many fish. I'm gonna throw them back. Let's throw them back. Nice. <laughs> 14 inches, that's not so bad. Let's throw her back so we could catch her again. Ugh. 
Looky here, we've got more than enough for our crispy oven fried fish. Let's get back to the abode and fillet our diminutive denizens and tomorrow we'll give that recipe a try. Yesterday, I was able to cull enough bantamweight bass to give us a pound and a third of these nice little fillets, and I'm anxious to try oven frying them. But first, let's try whipping up one of my favorite quickie side dishes, roasted spicy cauliflower. Now, I've got this really big mixing bowl, and I've got cauliflower florets in a bag. Why did I get them like this? Because I'm lazy. Look, they're already floretted. Okay, so I'm a perfectionist. I have to cut them down a little more. I guess you can call me a lazy perfectionist. Here's three tablespoons of olive oil. Here's one and a half teaspoons of this hot Hungarian paprika. Here, I've got three quarters teaspoons each of salt and pepper, and I want to sprinkle it all over, scatter it. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it's a half teaspoon of what I say is turmeric. Turmeric? Turmeric. Here's a half teaspoon of my favorite spice, cumin. You could go lighter on this if you want, but here's a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Here's a half cup or more of chopped cilantro. Oh no! I wasn't supposed to put the cilantro in until the end. Maybe I could pick it out. Okay, so I've picked out some of that cilantro. Let's stir this now. I added another tablespoon of olive oil just to get this well coated. I've lined this baking sheet with non-stick foil. Now, let's dump our cauliflower. I'm gonna pop our colorful cauliflower into a 450 degree oven for 25 minutes. Halfway through, I'm going to flip those that I can. Then we'll see what happens. Oh, yes. Already they look good. I'm just going to turn these over like this. And then pop them back in the oven for another 12 minutes and 32 and a half seconds. I think our little veggies are done. They look good. I'm going to put our little crabby cauliflower in a bowl and then I'm going to add some more extra nice ingredients to them. Here's the cilantro I salvaged. Let's use it again. Here's the juice of one half lemon. Oh, that's a lot. This was not in the original recipe, but I was in a restaurant once that served this with goat cheese. So we're adding it too. Oh, it's so good. I'm sure you could substitute feta cheese if you don't like goat cheese. I'm feeling artsy today, very artsy. Let's transfer this to these side dishes. Elegant. Now let's get on with the fish. I've got nonstick foil and I'm spraying it with olive oil. The recipe says parchment paper, but that stuff is unruly, I hate it. Here's a casserole dish and into it go two cups of breadcrumbs. <laughs> you know me. These aren't ordinary breadcrumbs. They're low carb breadcrumbs. Only a fraction of the carbs. Next, one cup of cornmeal. <laughs> you know me. This is golden flaxseed meal. Very low in carbs. Now, two teaspoons of seasoned salt. Let's stir this up. I almost forgot. A teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So I've patted our fish extra dry, and I'm supposed to add to it three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now just a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now let's mix everything with my handy spoonula. You want to do this for two hours, no more. 
Coat the fish with the breadcrumb mixture and set in a baking dish. This is so messy though. Let's take a filet and do what we're told. Hey, it looks good though. Let's continue. Look, the last one. I'm just gonna pop these into the oven now for eight minutes, flip them, and then go another three or four. We'll see. It's flipping time. They look good so far. Ooh. I don't know about crispy. Let's put our River Ruffians back in for four minutes. I don't know though, some of the breading looks like it's already coming off, that's sad. You know, while I have a second, I should tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. I'm over the moon with happiness, although I need to come down to earth. You see, we've been seeing each other since, uh, well, since the Stone Age. Yet she doesn't seem interested in marrying me. And well, maybe I can point out to her the loneliness of being a spinster. Well, this is it. They look pretty good. Let's plate them up. It is my pleasure to have as my guest tonight, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and welcome to my primitive prefab. And you had a chance to merrily munch on my roasted spicy cauliflower with goat cheese and my oven fried bass. And could you let us know what you thought of the meal tonight? It was very good. The, um, the, the fish was nicely cooked and it was it had a very lovely coating and it was tasty. And the uh, cauliflower, the creamy goat cheese was excellent. And the cauliflower was sweet, but you know, it had a little bit of a bite to it, yeah. which is okay. I'm sorry, yeah, it was okay. a little spicy. Yes, well, yeah, like I told you, you helped you know, clear up my sinus. Oh, but it was so yummy. But it was very good. With that goat cheese. Yes. And the fish, although it didn't come out crispy, it, it had a crunch to it, a yeah, texture. It was, yes, it was very good. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Miss Lulu, you know, many single women grow old and eventually they have no friends because of two reasons. They either all got married or are dead. So, uh, What's the difference? Huh? Can I have a hug? <laughs>